What's going on, everybody? BlueandGold.com recruiting insider Mike Singer joined on the Zoom call with Fighting Irish wide receiver commit Lorenzo Styles in the 2021 class. Lorenzo, how's everything going, man? Everything's going good. Yes, sir. All right, cool. So um, I see behind you there you got your, your jersey and your helmet there. I'm sure you're just gearing up, um, you know, hoping for a football season this fall. What have you been doing to stay active and, and healthy and, and really getting ready for this fall? Yes, yeah, so, so team-wise, um, we actually started working out as a team team again, just uh, conditioning, uh, free body stuff. We got in the weight room again, so that's good. Uh, just building that team chemistry up and then alone. Got us out of my house. So I've been having a couple guys over, and uh, we've been getting in here too. So uh, getting really getting ready for the season. Now, I saw you just around this time last year when you guys came down to Georgia. Um, for, I believe it was for your guys' first or second game. Um, and man, you look great then as a junior, but I'm sure that your game has taken the next step now as a senior. Where would you say are some of the biggest things that you've improved on from, you know, uh, junior to senior year? I would think I would actually like just my body wise, physically, I got a lot bigger, but then as well as just like, just little stuff about the game, just the IQ wise, I feel like I learned a lot more over the last course of the year. And then just like drill work, I've been able to get my feet better, get in and out of cut. So something I really wanted to have been working on. So uh, just a little stuff about the game I feel like I got better at. Definitely. Now, um, what do you have some big goals for your senior season? You know, what are you really looking to accomplish, whether it's, um, you know, personally or, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure that, that we could all guess what your goal for the team is again. See, yeah, I feel like personal goals, I just want to set those aside for this year. Uh, just, I'm just thinking about the team right now. I just want to, I want to win another state championship and uh, bring it back to the city. Yeah, that was my guess. I was guessing that was <laughs> your goal for, for the team wise. Definitely, man. Um, switching into recruiting, just how's everything going on that front? You know, staying pretty busy, talking to Notre Dame a good bit. Yeah, I'm a hundred percent with Notre Dame right now. I'm feeling really good with my recruitment. Yeah, definitely. How often are you hearing from, you know, coach Alexander, coach Reese, you know, even texting with coach Kelly a little bit, you know, how often are you, you hearing with, Talking with yeah, those guys. Kelly actually just texted me while we were on this interview, so that's crazy. He just said that, but um, yeah, me and Coach Alexander, we've been talking a lot, and uh, I've been hearing from Coach Kelly every couple of days. So uh, we have a really, really good relationship. Gotcha. So you've been committed since last October, and you were a huge target for them for what a year um, before that, and they were even recruiting you back when you were a freshman too. So. Um, with this relationship you've been able to build with them for so long, what is there still to talk about now? You know, when, what are those conversations like when you get to talk to Notre Dame? Uh, I feel like it's just like uh, me being up there, getting on campus, uh, what my role will be, and uh, what do I need to do to uh, prepare for that? Okay, yeah, definitely, man. So, you know, you mentioned uh, the, the commitment status, 100% committed to Notre Dame. And, you know, I know other schools are, are still coming after you. So how do you kind of handle that, you know, when, uh, when, when other schools are still contacting you and you're those coaches, you know, what, what's that like for you? Yeah, a little while ago, like, uh, my phone was just ringing a lot because schools were uh, able to call you. But um, I just – I was just honest. I'm just honest with coaches and stuff. I'm saying I feel really comfortable with Notre Dame. Um, like I said, like taking visits to Notre Dame, I feel like that was the biggest thing in my recruitment. So I, I'm not taking any other visits. I feel I feel really good when we're, no. when we're at with my recruitment. I'm sure Notre Dame fans are going to be very excited to hear that. A little yeah, word yeah. there. So, um, cool. Uh, what do you want Notre Dame fans to know about you as a player and a person? You know, what, what will you really bring to that community on the field and off of it? I feel like I'm always going to go 100%. Uh, on and off the field, uh, just I just I really want to train hard, but I also want to bring shine a positive light on the University of Notre Dame. And I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet. It's just giving back and just uh, using my platform to do something more than football. That's awesome, man. Last question: Tell the world a little bit about your younger brother because you know I, I've I've told yeah, Sonny I've told this story a couple times. When I was at that game that I mentioned, you guys were playing uh, was it Winter Park and. Um, you guys played in the Freedom Bowl Classic in, in Milton, Georgia. Um, I remember being on the sidelines, and I'm standing next to this kid who – I say kid, but he looks in his 20s. Yeah. And um, I'm like, wow, you really look like Lorenzo. Are you Lorenzo's brother? He said, yeah, I am. And um, I'm like, are you, are you in his same grade? Or <laughs> I figured I would have heard about your brother. And uh, no, he, he's a freshman. So what was that? Yeah. Class of 2023 – 
Um, and uh, he was hurt at the time. Did he come back and was he able to play late in his freshman year? So he came back for his basketball season. He had a pretty good basketball season. But, um, yeah, just gearing up for the football season, I'm, I'm really excited to play with him. And uh, I'm not – even though it's my brother, I wouldn't have to lie for him. But um, he's, he's one of the top players in his great football and basketball. So I think any school, if you want to – yeah, you would offer him now because uh, – you got some, I'm recruiting in my house, so I'm trying to get in better game. So if you, you better you better get on now if you're at other school. Which sport do you think he's better at? I think he's better at football, just naturally gifted. But uh, he's a he's a good basketball player too. Now, can you take him in basketball still, or is he? Got oh yeah, there? he's still my little brother. So you know, <laughs> I mean, I always gotta have the confidence. But um, he 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 might be able to get me. Might. No, but but you'll you'll cross him up on on the on the football field. Yeah. Better. Yeah. I'll get him on the basketball court, too, if I have to. All right, good deal, man. Well, Lorenzo, I appreciate you joining the Zoom call, man. Yes, sir. I appreciate you having me. Thank you.